Hello there, I'm Rick and you're watching Pro Gamer Parent. Today I want to talk to you about resumes. Might be that your kid is a tad too young to actually write a resume right now, but as Seth Godin say, you are your work. It's way more important than having a paper with titles and dates on it. And uh, I might be paraphrasing him wrong, so <laughs> no, no offense meant. But your work is so important. That's what you're building in. Even if you're checking things into GitHub because you're a programmer, you, the quality of your work will be noticed by other programmers. And what does this have to gain with gaming? What does this have to do with your kid? Independent on her or his age, there is games that are moddable. There's games that can be changed. For example, I don't remember when, I played EverQuest back in the 80s, 90s, and I remember you could tweak the GUI with how you wanted your spells and windows sized and artwork and stuff like that. What we didn't know at the time was that they built it so good on XML, way before a lot of other people started talking about XML. Me and a few friends, we knew intimately the elements of that language, if you so say, served us great so many times over. And you might think, well, it's just a game and that doesn't matter. But what we don't see is now people can make a living providing computer game assets for like unity3d.com and stuff like that, that might have been spawned by the seeds that started when they were tweaking a game they love. They were feeding themselves their joy, their passion for whatever they wanted. What we as a parent can help them is to lift that to a higher level. To be curious, to let their, their, their tinkering bloom, but also pay attention, what, well, is that Lua? Like, I built add-ons on World of Warcraft. A very powerful, good, programming language and it helped make me a better player or at least it helped me <laughs> work with my handicap so I got better results in the game and it also become, became a meta game in the game so I had f more fun playing the game because I was also tweaking on my add-on and so many games today has the option to tweak it and we have Steam Workshop and where we can share it and so many easy way to help share the artwork of your game. But also a lot of game has this built in like Spores and other uh, from EA games that how you build something and it's shared with the world. Or uh, SimCity where you peep, other people can watch your game. Uh, your city less likely or you actually have uh, Skylines I think is a game where actually people go to to figure out how to make better cities so you, it's not just about building the blocks and selling those but it's also are you learning things that you can actually apply in real life inside the game so that's the first thing what are you what are your kid learning in game and how, how much of that is applicable the next is how can you package it going back to everquest we were talking about xml easily packaged, easily translated to real life work. It's all about syntax and you knew how, what was scalable and what wasn't and what was easy to update and what was hard because you'd done it so many times for yourself or for your friend in game. But um, also back in EverQuest you had a lot of leadership. How to get, I think the raid size there was 72 people. How did you get 72 people to work with high effect because it, it was a highly unforgiving world. And um, that, that kind of leadership is harder to package. But going back to resumes, now that you have, you have a lot of hiring people who are used to play games and will understand what a re raid leader means. Even if they're all individually in how we lead, you have the ability to get people moving. You have to get the ability to get people to realize their part and what needs to happen. That is easily translated to real life. Even if 
X percentage of the, the people reading that resume won't understand it. So do think about what's worth putting there word-wise or not. But once again, you might be able to extract something from there. Perhaps you can have a guild web page. Suddenly you show, you realize, you show that you can handle a discussion forum. You can handle how to keep things happy and effective you can show you can talk about what happens when people start to leave what happens when there's a server shift or remove or so many things you can say well okay i had this girl and we created this website and this is the lessons i learned from managing x number of people and it doesn't really matter the size of it what matters is what did you learn and how did you help that tribe of yours that you created that rallied around you and as grown-ups it's easier for us to help our kids see that and while i'm not saying you should start to train your kid for work i'm i'm saying encourage them to see the joy of building something for themselves or people they care about and then perhaps you can think of an additional step or if it's already there how would this apply in real life? Is this actually code that they can copy paste somewhere else? Or is it like um, Scotch Junior, a Scratch Junior that's really, really wonderful to learn, but it's hard to apply in the real programming language. But still, the elements of learning, the joy of creating something and having that logic work out will probably make them curious to take on the next harder language or you say so the biggest scope of things so don't underestimate the value of playing computer games and pulling a few elements to actually put on a physical resume or what i'm trying to encourage you to do to to make it even more important than the resume put it out in the real life world where other people can see it and even if it's just a print screen of something you made in a game that looks beautiful, you're still teaching them to share. And once again, be generous. To <laughs> don't overshare and be respectful that there's a lot of trolls out there. Uh, so sharing could also be just internally into family, but encourage that. Encourage to do things, invest effort in building things, and then capturing that, taking it to the next level. But isn't it cool that they can play a game, mod it, make it better? A lot of mods today has become their own games. By far exceeding the original game, like DayZ or uh, Battle Royale. And uh, a lot of other things is really just, it started like mods and then it became huge. So do encourage them to play around with, ask, ask them what they can tweak about it. And even if it's not out of the box tweaking, if you're technically savvy, which all respect if you aren't, but then you can also lift under the hood and help them tweak with config files. Perhaps see if it's, uh, how can they tweak it to the game to the more the liking, even if it's harder to share for someone else's benefit, you will show them you can this <laughs> you can choose here and here and here. You can't choose everything, but perhaps you can choose this. And show them the coolness of being in control of their own favorite game. Because layer by layer they are building knowledge that is the new world. When you come to recruiting right now, you're using video with an AI to do, find matches and understand what's going on understand who, who the personality is and how the match is i'm and you're you have used for a long time you've used what's out there on online it's only logical that the next level will be to start compiling what's out there and the githubs and steamworks and stuff like that too to see how collaborative is this kid and if your kid then has a 20 years history of shipping collaborative work of high quality they're gonna win when <laughs> to the one who's never done it or done it for two years and that's what i want for you so do check that out
and thanks for watching. Have a good one.